Good morning, everyone. It's day two of Vlogmas. I've just had a coffee, uh, had a little bit of a panettone for breakfast. Uh, unfortunately, our uh, coffee machine needs service and it's uh, there was a few problems with it, so hubby has to go and resort to the old uh, method of making the coffee on the stovetop, the old-fashioned way, uh, the way the Italians like it. So, uh, yeah, so that will hopefully be being fixed this week because we can't live without a coffee machine. Um, yeah, so I'm about to head over and do some orders. We've got to try and get as many as we can out uh, because of the Christmas rush and, of course, Black Friday and all the sales uh, on postage has been backlogged and we want to try and get things out as soon as we can so that you all have your orders way before Christmas. So I'm going to catch up with you all when I get back and I'm going to talk a bit about what we got up to last weekend for the Da Vinci exhibition that was at the Loom in Melbourne. So I will see you in a couple of hours. I have my little artsy shiny cloud polymer clay babushka dolls. Very Christmassy and of course uh, artsy shiny cloud is uh, a wonderful jewellery maker over in Adelaide and she does such beautiful little intricate works of art so get them out every Christmas. Hi all, I'm back home after a very busy morning. We got 80 orders out just from the weekend, so that was just crazy. I've just had some lunch. I've got some A0 printing to do for the day. Phoebe's sorting out a lot of new patterns that have come in. Um, and it's just we're, do, we're doing a big clean-up after we've had a busy weekend cutting up fabrics and doing orders. We like to have a bit of a categorise again, make sure everything's nice and neat. Um, so yeah, that's the afternoon planned and then I'm going to sit down and do my advent calendar with you guys. And I'm going to show you guys the video from our trip away last weekend, but I want to show you something I picked up last week at Kmart. So I found this really nice quilt cover from Kmart and it was only like, I think $80 for a cotton, like embossed cotton, which was really nice. So that's for a super king size. And I think it looks really nice in here, actually. So for any of you over in the US that are thinking Kmart, you found that at Kmart? Yes. We all know here that us Aussies know that Kmart in Australia is very different to Kmart in the US. Um, you really find some lovely homewares and very reasonably priced as well. So I always manage to find bits and pieces, although I love going to Adairs, uh, as you can see from all the prints on the walls and decorating items it is on the pricey side so if you do happen to find some goodies in Kmart that bedspread was quite the bargain. Charlie what are your thoughts? Comfortable? Yes. Charlie is getting to the stage of his life he's 16 nearly 17 and he's hungry all the time so he's just having little meals more often but it's quite demanding isn't it he's quite a demanding one yes so I've got to be on hand to uh, give him lots of little snacks. <laughs> And with our A0 printing, we always check the little magic scale box for you because without that, you never quite know the pattern's going to be perfectly to scale. So I'm going to do some pattern folding and all that patterns come in with a handy cardboard envelope so you can store your patterns away. So it won't be too long and I'll finish this off.
quite a time consuming job, but actually quite therapeutic. I don't mind folding the paper up. Um, you could think of it maybe like origami. So <laughs> it's one of those jobs when you get into it, into the flow, it's quite rewarding. So I'm about to send all these parcels off to a customer who I'm sure is waiting to get um, her pattern so she can start doing some sewing. I'll see you all soon. Wow, that was a busy day. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've got to go back over and finish a couple more orders. Before I do that, I wanted to do my day two of the Carly in the Machine advent calendar. And I want to also talk about the weekend away we had last weekend. I'm going to show you some footage of the loom in Melbourne. But first of all, day number two. Now, it's pretty easy to find because they're all in order, which is great. So we've got number two with the little glasses. And the last lot of printing's just finishing off. So while that's happening, I'll do my number two. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> wow, chef's kiss. Oh, that's really cute. Look at those. I'm really loving the calendar. And I've got to say a huge thank you. A lot of you have been posting on Instagram your um, Dahlia Society 12 Days of Christmas calendar. Um, so I haven't showing anything on here, but I will say that number one was Kylie and the Machine pencils. They were sewing pencils. I'll put a pick up so you can see. So anyone that didn't get one of our advent calendars, you can see what was in day number one. So these are great little pencils, all with different little sewing um, sayings on them. I think they're great. They'll be really handy to keep at the desk in your sewing room. Someone did ask me, email me yesterday, and ask what was the wooden sewing caddy I had in the background on my sewing desk. It's actually a bamboo spinning caddy that's in uh, Kmart. It's actually <laughs> Kmart again. It's in the um, where the stationery is and they do have them online. So I'll link them in the description box because they're fantastic for all your sewing goodies. I put all of my sewing um, markers and rulers and just about every single sewing tool that I own uh, in those caddies. So they're fabulous. So uh, last weekend, of course, we went away for our 31st wedding anniversary. If you haven't visited the Loom in Melbourne, they have a fantastic display at the moment all about Da Vinci, um, talking about his early years and his life, how he didn't have any formal schooling. He was born to a, a peasant woman that was an illegitimate child, so he wasn't given the, you know, the right to education, and he was just amazing he really was the most inventive person and all the little um the, the got little replicas of his notepads and all his codes and his workings um and just to think a lot of the mechanics and engineering that we use today he invented a lot of that kind of thing but they didn't have the technology to of course do much with it back then but to just think that um he had you know been so much of that but not only all the engineering side of things and the inventive side um of things he's also had his art and his sculpture which was incredible from such um poor beginnings he ended up living out the rest of his life i think in his late 60s he was 67 when he died and he was invited to go and live uh, over with the king of france and that's where he finished the Mona Lisa. Um, but it was a really great immersive experience. I took you guys to the Loom to see Monet and Friends last year. Uh, really enjoyed that. Now, the Da Vinci exhibition is on till I think the 20th or 24th of December, where it will finish and change over to the Van Gogh, which Van Gogh, my twin daughters, went and said it was amazing. And then I think that will go for another year. And at the end of 2025, the Loom will be closing, which is really um, so sad to be losing it because it's a great way to see art and to be immersed in the sound and all the visuals. Um, so you've got another year to go and see these great exhibitions at the Loom before they do move the Loom on elsewhere. So as of course the Da Vinci will finish at the end of the year, Van Gogh will be on for next year, so definitely worth a visit. Um, while we were staying in the city, we went a lot of around South Wharf area and we went to a beautiful restaurant called Bang Pop, which was uh, a beautiful Thai waterfront restaurant. We had beautiful um, Thai food and cocktails, so that was amazing. Um, we just had a really lovely, relaxing weekend. So I'm going to leave you with some footage of the loom and I hope you enjoy that. And that's me for day two. I'm going to have a day out with my mum tomorrow so I'll get a bit of footage of that to show you what we get up to so we'll see you all tomorrow bye for now
the Da Vinci at the word.
straight the left. It's a bit creepy, so we 